All right, guys, now that we got the uh, motors wired, we got the flight controller, and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our VTX and we're gonna get it installed as well. One of the things I wanna point out to you on this VTX is that you're gonna see a couple things that we want to make sure you take reference to, right? First is gonna be that there's this white plug at the top here. This needs to be facing forward towards the front of your drone, which is up here, okay? You also have this very small gold circle right here, and that's your antenna connection. So that's gonna be facing to the back. And then you've got these two buttons right here that are gonna be facing to the left and right. So just make sure for orientation purposes, you have this aimed just like that when you mount it, okay? Now, one thing we do wanna do is we wanna go ahead now and remove these fasteners that we had in place to stop the screws from falling through. So you go ahead and just unscrew those uh, and put them aside for now. Just like this. There we go, and then we got one more, all right? And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take those rubber one millimeter standoffs right here, these little rubber rings, okay? And we're gonna put those on the screws instead, which will help lift the video transmitter or the VTX off uh, of the uh, flight controller so that they don't touch and ground out. So there we go, we're gonna put all four of those on just like this. Okay, and just if, you're, if your motor wires are in the way, just kind of move them out of the way for right now. Make sure you've got this on here good. And then we're just gonna take our VTX and we're gonna slide it right on top just like that. All right, now that's gonna give us good clearance all the way around. And then we're gonna take our fasteners and we're gonna put them back on. All right, and we're just gonna tighten them down. I mean, we're gonna spin them down just a little bit. Don't need to tighten them yet. We just want this to hold in place. All right, just like that. There's two. And then we'll take the third one here. And we'll do the fourth one here, okay. just like that. All right, and there we go. So now that our VTX is sitting on here, why we'll don't just look around and make sure that everything is clear. You can look in the front, you can see down that there should be a gap uh, between your flight controller and your VTX, and there should be a gap again between the top of the USB and the bottom of the VTX, and so forth. You should be able to go all the way around and make sure that nothing is touching uh, and, and that this is actually has safe space from the bottom flight controller. Once that's done and you feel confident in that, what you can do is you can just take your screwdriver and just gently just tighten this down until the, uh, until the fastener makes connection with the board, just like that. Uh, you don't want to crank this down because you want to be able to leave the gaps that we saw. So just until you feel a little bit of resistance, and I'll show you exactly what that's going to look like here in a second. So again, just, just finger tighten this down using the screwdriver. And when you feel it no longer want to go uh, with a soft turn, then just stop because that means you're pretty good. Okay, and it doesn't have to be cranked down all the way. In fact, it's better if it's not. So like I said, just take it down to where the fastener is actually touching the board, just like that. And there you go. All right, so you can still verify. And when you're done doing this, just verify you still have your gaps between the board. All right, verify you have your gap between the USB and the bottom of the VTX. So then what you have left is something that looks pretty much like this. All right, it's pretty clean. All the wires are in order properly. Everything is out of the way and you are ready to plug in your VTX. So what you have here is you have your VTX plug and this is the plug. This is the wider of the two plugs that are left in the front. All right, and what you have on here, just to explain what this is gonna do, is you have the following wires. You have a, you have a blue wire right here and that's actually your smart audio. And what smart audio is, is and you'll find out in the module when we get to setting this up, is smart audio allows you to change the channel of your VTX from your controller. So if you're flying with a bunch of people out there and you guys are getting cross signals of your, of your video and your video is kind of grainy or it's getting interference, then you can change the channels from your controller. That's a, not a new feature, but it's in, in terms of how old drones are, that is relatively new in the sense that uh, you used to have to actually take your drone and press these side buttons but this is a way to get around that now, which is smart VTX by using a controller. And we'll go over that in the VTX module, okay? Um, the next thing you have here is you're gonna have your red cable, and that's actually gonna be your five volt cable to power up your video transmitter. The next cable after that is your black one, and that's your ground cable. And then your yellow one is your video cable. So that's gonna be the cable that comes in from the, uh, it's coming from the flight controller and it's going into the VTX. So the flight controller, the OSD menu, that's gonna be on-screen display that's gonna have your battery voltage and the name of your drone and everything else, that is being sent through this yellow cable into your video transmitter and then your video transmitter will then send that signal out through this antenna 
and into your goggles, okay? So this is the yellow cable here is actually output from the uh, flight controller uh, to the VTX, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a, a second to plug this in, and based on the fact that we mounted this uh, in this direction, we're just gonna put this into where, uh, if your drone is facing away from you, the blue cable will go all the way to the left. So let me just show you what that looks like. All right. I don't want to turn the drone. There we go. Okay, so it should look like this. So if you were to turn your drone down and face you, you would have no wires on the first two plugs on the left, and the farthest plug on the right, the farthest wire is going to be the blue cable. And it looks just like this. And if you'd like to kind of tuck these wires away now, you can kind of gently just twist that up and just lay it right here, and it's perfect. This will stay perfectly out of the way, okay? And that is the connection of your VTX. We will do the antenna plug-in later when we're getting ready to put the top of the frame back on. But for right now, that's it. You guys did great. Now we're getting ready to plug in the camera and show you how to do that next. We'll be right back.